First Commercial Bank, this is Kelly. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to speak to Ms. Lyles, please. This is H.D. Walker calling. Okay, just a minute. Debbie, may I help you? Uh, I was holding for Ms. Lyles. Is she? Ms. Lyles is yes. H.D. Walker calling with the Duckland County Safety Commission. Uh-huh. How you doing this morning? Just fine. All right. I'm calling uh, in regard to a complaint we got down here about uh, 1506 George Street. Okay. And the record showed that it's a Lyles residence, and uh -huh. I believe we've been able to track it to this phone number. Okay, what kind of complaint are you talking about? First of all, I'll make sure I got the right. Do you reside on George Street? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, okay. We've had a, uh, one of our safety commissioners uh, by there one day last week, but couldn't get nobody to answer the door. Uh, to look at, we had a complaint from somebody, a neighbor, somebody about a, a, a pond in the backyard, an authorized pond. Well, I don't know about it being unauthorized. But you do you have the pond in the backyard? Yes. All right, and reported there's live, uh, see, we got the fish, breeding fish in the pond. Well, I don't know if they're breeding or not. What kind of fish you got? Goldfish. Goldfish. Well, uh, they will breed fast. And now, do you have any sort of uh, paperwork from Kennett, Missouri, on the uh, fish breeding? Because there is an ordinance on that. you got to have a license to breed the goldfish. As if it's in an outdoor facility. Well, no, but who do I need to contact? Well, I mean, it's a little late for that, but I, I'll be glad to tell you, we can set you up with the paperwork here in the commissioner's office. How long you had the pond? I've had the pond for three years. Oh, my God, three years. I'm afraid of that. You've been breeding the goldfish the entire time? I haven't had any goldfish. I mean, the, the fish have not mated and had goldfish. Oh. Well, no. Uh, in fact, to... I lost my goldfish uh, oh. uh couple of weeks ago when I was on vacation and I just put new goldfish in. Well, by God, I understand it. that uh, there's also been a problem uh, according to the paperwork where a guy was by there last week, couldn't get anybody to answer the door. Well, there should be someone there right now. Well, we're headed out there. We'll talk about that in a minute. But they said that uh, there's also appeared that you've got some fungus on your lily pad. Well, I don't know about that either. And that's a health risk. That's a health hazard. Uh-huh. And that's something that the health department's going to want us to uh, see about. You may be in violation there. How long have you had lily pads in your pond? Uh, ever since I had the pond. That'll I be listening. three years? Uh-huh. How deep is your pond? It's a standard uh, 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 plastic thing that you buy at Riggs. It was bought at Riggs. All right. It's a little pond. Yeah. Yes. Well, we gonna send. Uh, and I, I want to tell you at this point, after three years, I'm gonna have to go ahead and make the call. We gonna send a man with some uh, equipment out there to drain that pond. Uh, probably gonna be Friday after the Fourth of July out there. We're gonna need to drain that thing. Okay. And who am I speaking to? H. D. Walker, the H. Dunklin County Safety Commissioner's Office. And I just, it seems like if you're going to have a pond, you'd at least uh, bothered to get a license for breeding the fish. I mean, uh, you, you're probably selling these things to pet stores or things. Uh, I, we closed down one old lady's pond just well, less than a mile no, away I'm, from you. No, she was I'm selling not... goldfish to a, a pet store in St. Louis. Uh, well, no, I haven't had any fish. Uh, Dunklin County, what? Health? Uh, uh, safety Commission. Safety. H.D. Walker. I've been here 12 years. And with, there was infestation on your lily pad uh, as of last week. As I said, a guy's by there to check on the complaint. Nobody would answer the door, but he did take a look. I believe he got some pictures and said you had dew, on, uh, uh, not dew on your lily pad, but fungus on your lily pad and said that uh, there was a, uh, it said it was a, 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 what they call a bad odor coming out of it. Okay. And we can expect someone there uh, Friday. When well, yeah, we're sending a uh, uh, vehicle well, uh, out there and some equipment. See, I work, so I need to know when somebody will be there. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, uh, and we're going to need somebody out there to be on site as we drain this thing. And okay. we're going to send a, a bulldozer out there and everything. Okay. To get this pond drained. Okay. All right. But now we need to talk about uh, how many fish you'd estimate over three years you've sold at various pet stores. I have not sold any fish. Uh, like I said... There hasn't been any breeding of fish. They're not breeding goldfish. I had there was four goldfish out there, 
at uh, uh, until. Uh, well, that's going to be two hundred dollars a fish. That be forty or eight hundred dollars on the fish. Then on that, and then the cost of draining the pond. I imagine we can drain that thing. It depends on how long the bulldozer will, will have to be out there. Uh, it probably we can drain it for uh, two hundred fifty dollars. So we're looking at right around a thousand dollars on that, and I can't tell you what the health department's going to do on this fungus on your lily pad, but uh, that's something they'll have to get with you on. I see. Okay. And we'll try to get it all worked out. Who will meet us out there on Friday morning? Uh, my husband, Jack. Jack. All right. Would you have a talk with him? Because I, uh, I've done this as I said, for twelve years uh, here in Duncan County, and sometimes, uh, fellas, you know, if you was going to be there, I wouldn't worry about it. But sometimes they have a little bit of an attitude going, uh, and and uh, I just, I don't put up with it. I say, well... I just have a talk with him and let him know H.D. Walker will be out to supervise this draining of the pond on Friday and, uh, and uh, you know, needs to fly right. Okay. All right, because uh, I did the last guy that, uh, I guess, about three miles from where you are out on George Street uh, got a little lippy, and uh, I ended up opening a can of whoop-ass on him. A can of what? Whoop-ass. What we I call we call it here in the office. Okay. When somebody you know gets up in my face or something like that, I have to let them know how it is. Oh, I see. Okay, well we'll expect you at eleven o'clock. Oh, what I need you to do at eleven o'clock Friday morning is a. Uh, what's your old man's name again? Jack. Just have Jack standing out by the street, and he'll see me in the. I'll be in the county car, the lead car, the commissioner's car. And the bulldozer will be right behind me. I need him standing out there, ready to go. Okay. Eleven o'clock Friday morning. Okay. And you know the message to give him now, don't you? Yes, sir. What is it? Uh, no lip. No lip. Because what I do when there's some lip. Um, uh, I've. I understand what you're talking about. In the back of my county car, I got a, it's actually a truck. In the back of my county truck, well, I got a 55 gallon drum of whoop ash. And it ain't nothing for me to open it. I see. Okay. It ain't nothing. I mean, I'm a man on a mission. We're going to get that pond drain and we're going to take care of your, your, uh, the fungi on your lily pads. Okie doke. And you sound like a very cooperative lady. Yes, I, I try to be. Just make sure that old man of yours is ready to go. Okay. Thank Does he you have know. a history of being a little lippy with people? Uh, no, sir. And uh, I have a customer waiting. I really need to go. Well, I'm calling from the commissioner's office. I well, I realize that, sir, but I'm at work. So uh, we'll see you uh, Friday morning. Now, I don't want you to move off and leave that pond there or anything else now. Uh-huh. Okay. You well, understand? Yes, sir. And uh -huh. you know we're looking at a $1,000 fine. Yes. Yeah, if you were happen to have maybe five hundred dollars cash on hand uh, Friday morning, we might be able to negotiate here on this thing. I see. Uh, Is that a possibility? Uh, no, sir, it's not. It's not. You're gonna go ahead and drain it and pay for it. Yes, sir. Uh huh. All right. Uh, one other thing, and I'll let you go. Uh, Kelly Walls. Are you familiar with the Kelly Walls? Uh, yes. I just want to make you aware she's the one that complained about your goldfish pond. Uh, I see. And, uh, and you may want to open a can of whoop on her. Uh, I certainly will. Is she near the there, near you now? Is she there with you in the uh, bank? Yes, sir, she is. Yeah, she's, she's there. She's the one that... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Debbie. Hey, yeah. Debbie. Yes. You're live on the Stephen D.C. Morning Radio Show. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and all your coworkers at the bank set you up. <laughs> They'll pay for it today. You may have to open a can of whoop ass. That's the truth. I will. Have you ever heard somebody from a county office talk like that? Have, have, you, have you ever? Have you ever been to Dunklin County? <laughs> <laughs> I live in Dunklin County, so now, yes, I, I wouldn't doubt it a bit. <laughs> and, and for the record and all your friends listening, you don't have fungus on your lily pads, I didn't do you? think I did. Good. No. I really didn't think I did. You might no want to check that. But I was going to go check tonight. Well, <laughs> happy 4th of July. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was all Kelly's idea. Debbie, you're a great sport. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Here you go.